Hey guys, hope everything is going great on your end. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you five pro tips for that app called Bear. Like the animal, B-E-A-R, Bear. I wonder why they call it that. Oh, because it's probably like minimal, like Bear, like B-A-R-E, like it's a very Bear app, but it's like a good app, but they wanted a really cute logo. You So the first tip I have for you is hidden tags. Now as of right now, there's no built-in feature to hide tags, but there is this nice workaround. When we go down to our sample note here, and let's just say we want to hide these four tags, all you got to do is highlight them, click on this pen icon here, and click on code block. And now if you look over to the left sidebar, those tags have vanished. And when you're ready to bring those tags back, just highlight the tags again, click on that pen icon, and click on code block. And there you go. And as you can see, those four tags have reappeared in the sidebar. All right, let's move on to tip number two. For tip number two, you can actually pin your notes. As you probably already know, notes inside of Bear can be sorted by creation date, modification date, or by alphabetical order. Well, let's say you want to add some favorite notes to the top. Maybe they're just some notes you want to keep track of or you want to keep on hand for reference. Whatever it may be, that won't be a problem. All you got to do is click on the note you want to pin. Let's go down to the bottom here, click on this example note, and just right click on your mouse, click pin to top, and there you go. Now the note is pinned to the top, and as you can see, there is the pinned icon right here. Just letting you know that that is a pinned note. And yeah, just a super simple way to keep those notes from being lost in the shuffle. All right, let's move on to tip number three. For tip number three, we have special searches. And what that means is you can actually use certain filters inside the search box using the at symbol. And I have a list of all the current searches right here on the screen, but let's test out a couple right now. Let's say we're looking for a note that has a task. And yes, this note does have tasks right here. Or let's say we're looking for a note that has a file. And once again, this note does have a PDF attached to it. So yeah, special searches are just a great way to filter out your notes to find specific things. All right, let's move on to tip number four. For tip number four, we have bulk actions. And I have a list of all the actions you can do here on the screen. Now bulk actions such as deleting, archiving, and exporting are pretty common among these types of apps. However, Bear has a very powerful action, which is the ability to merge multiple notes together. So to do that, I'm gonna hold down my command key on my Mac. I'm gonna select these five notes. I'm gonna right click on my mouse and then I'm going to click merge. And as you can see, all five of those notes have been successfully merged together. All right, let's move on to the last tip. So tip number five is focus mode. Have you ever felt like hiding the sidebar in the notes panel? I got some good news for you. You can actually do this inside of Bear. You can press control one to hide both those panels. Press control two if you just wanna hide the sidebar. And of course, if you wanna bring everything back, press control three. Really simple stuff, but these subtle differences could make a big difference in your productivity, especially when those side panels can get a little distracting. So that's the end of the video, and I just wanna say thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any video requests, um, whether it's for Bear or any other app, feel free to leave them below in the comments. I read and respond to every comment, so if there's something you'd like to see me talk about, um, uh, don't hesitate to uh, let me know. And of course, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, Product Hunt, Instagram, and Medium. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I have a lot more videos coming soon in the next year. I'm gonna be putting on a lot of interesting stuff. So make sure you subscribe because you don't wanna miss what I have in store. Anywho, I'll catch you in the next video.